As an intro, let's break down the very basics of 3D printer. So, printers consist of the following elements. A hot end that's capable of melting plastic, and an extruder that pushes the plastic filament through that hot end. A series of motors that move the hot end through different X, Y, and Z coordinates, and a heat bed that keeps the print in its place throughout the whole process. Printers rely on two fundamental mechanics, extrusion and motion. Extrusion being the action of pushing the filament from the extruder to the hot end, and motion being the actual positioning of the hot end in the three-dimensional build space. The combination of extrusion and motion results in a process known as additive manufacturing, a succession of layers that creates a solid object. Simple, right? Most 3D printers are either Delta or Cartesian, the latter being easily recognizable for its boxy appearance and Delta's for the tall and slim aspect. If you made your research, you're probably asking yourself, okay, I kind of know what 3D printing is all about, spare me the details, why choose a Delta? Most of the online 3D printing community seems to be using Cartesian printers, right? Let's make a general analysis of both types of printers, Cartesian and Delta. Cartesian printers use five motors, one for the extruder and four for the X, Y and Z motion. That means one more motor for the Z axis than a Delta, which in the long run means not only an added cost, but also an extra amount of energy consumption and stress for your electronics. Now, most Cartesian printers have to move the entire heat bed and print while printing resulting in a lower maximum printing speed than a Delta. Granted, speed nade ought not always be the answer for 3D printing, but it's definitely an extra point for the Delta. Sooner or later, you'll want to start printing bigger and bigger things, and Delta printers just so happen to have the added benefit of larger and taller build surfaces than their Cartesian competitors. Yes, they may take up more vertical space, but they also result in taller and bigger prints. Deltas can offer the option of adding a flying extruder, an effective mod that lets the extruder hang above the hot end at a fixed distance. A reliable option for printing any type of filament. Conclusion most people shy away from deltas for being too complicated or hard to calibrate and neglecting all these great aspects. So we'll show how simple it can be to get your delta printer up and running from scratch once you understand the fundamental kinematics of the printer. Comparisons aside, both Cartesian and delta are effective and reliable printers if designed correctly. We're going to stick to the delta costal base design throughout the whole video. But if you're building a Cartesian, this video will also be very helpful, as we'll be covering general aspects of 3D printing building, electronic wiring, building an extruder, and configuration file editing in Arduino.